Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moe here. Uh, about a year ago, I created a video about a slider called the Andor Slider GT-V70. And it, it was a curved slider. It was only $69. I thought it was pretty good for the price. Today, we're going to talk about a small super motion control slider that I recently discovered and found out about at the NAB show. I didn't actually go, my brother did. And he, you know, he went ahead and picked one up and he dropped it off and to let me go and check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look and overview about this. Um, I'm not actually gonna demonstrate using it in this video, but in upcoming videos, I'm gonna try uh, making use of this as I go out and about and try to add a little bit of value in some of the videos that I do when I'm out and um, checking out places and maybe doing some other new product reviews on small products. So let's take a closer look at it. This was uh, back, let's see, this was released probably, I wanna say just earlier uh, or, or late 2017, early 2018. I didn't do a whole lot of research about it only because when I was searching for this myself sometime last year, I actually did not see this product being available. Doesn't mean it wasn't available. Um, but it is now available, and I'll have the link down below. The one that we're going to take a look at is the Movie Maker 2 set, at, which goes for approximately, let's take a look here, $129.90. So that gives you a whole electronic slider set with a 360-degree panoramic time-lapse system. That's pretty impressive. But of course, it's only going to be able to be used on smaller cameras. So take a look at it. It says it'll do with smartphones, mirrorless and action cameras up to 1.7 pounds. That actually is pretty impressive, I must say. Uh, 1.7 pounds gives you a lot of leeway. I think I can actually use micro four thirds in there. And that is something that, um, you know, I'm definitely going to go ahead and try out and see see what kind of uh, what, what kind of uh, results that I get from this. $129.90, I guess it used to be retail at $149.90. Um, I didn't actually buy this myself, so this is not mine, but I'm gonna be using it for the next month or two, or I, I'm at, at least gonna have it for the next month or two. So it's a two-in-one, nine-speed electronic slider, uh, 360 degree motion head. It apparently works with Oh, just about any any camera angle, even upside down. And I know this for a fact because I actually saw my brother go ahead and try this out upside down, and um, and actually going up up and down uh, different uh, different elevations. So it seems to have that gearing gearing and motor combination possible. It has a two hour internal rechargeable battery, or you can use it with USB power pack, which is which is actually fantastic because. USB is the way to go. If you can power something with USB or charge it with USB, I am all down for that. Less stuff to bring about rather than having these big AC adapters. Let's take a quick look at some of the pictures over here, see what we're going, see what we're getting at. Oh, look, look at that vertical. Vertical, I'm I'm gonna be really shocked if I can go ahead and do this with the Micro Four Thirds system and go up and down. That'd be pretty cool. Then you got the uh, 360 de degree panoramic time lapse system. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, I actually just go ahead and use my DJI uh, Osmo Mobile, and I can do the same thing. Or I use my DJI Osmo, or you know, even the Remova K1. You know, we can we can go ahead and do the similar thing. But this will allow me to attach a mirrorless system, which, which um, while I have a big system that can allow me to do a panoramic time lapse, it's by SERP. I never take it out because it's so freaking heavy. So this thing is, is I know it's super lightweight. Uh, here's a few more pictures of in action. Looks like it comes with remote control. And then there's a little little bit of a video demo here to um, show you how to quick set up here. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and revert right on back down to, um, let's see, I'm going to revert back down to this, this bottom view and take a look at take a look at the, the system down here. Um, in case I didn't mention this, a lot of these I'm actually recording live, so I apologize uh, for uh, some of the transitions that aren't probably as smooth as can be, but this way I can kind of try to get these videos out of here as quick as possible. Okay, so here is uh, the first kit. It looks like pretty much the size of a, of a motherboard box. Um, if I'm being honest, it, it just kind of 
you know, it doesn't feel like a really premium product, but then you're only you're only paying $129 for this set. And it looks like it says it has nine speeds going on here. Real time to time lapse. USB power option, shoot vertical, yep, good information in there. And now here is the kit. Well, actually, I actually like that they have a whole um, plastic system to make sure that you have all the system, all the pieces in place here. It's got a little remote control over here, which doesn't look like my brother used at all. Micro USB cable, great to charge up the unit. And we got a bunch of pieces over here to go ahead and this feels like a pretty solid piece All important if you watch the video you probably figure out how to put it together um, I'm going to go ahead and put this together later I'm just giving a first initial assessment in here see a little bit of wear mark on here but that's probably because my brother already used it um, and then you got this track system here which I was afraid would wear out a bit but it seems to be a pretty nice durable uh, plastic this of course is reminiscent of GoPro quality plastic. Okay, maybe a little bit better. Easy to move, I like that. So there's there's actually, uh, you can't actually adjust the friction of that, but it seems to be just fine for a small camera. I think ideally with a GoPro or Sony RX100 series, just kind of like how they show in the video. So you got two of these, two of these systems, you stick them all together, um, you got the, the sliding motor controller right over here, which I believe I go ahead and plug in a micro USB. Yep, right there to charge. Uh, here's the here's the actual mount. Um, <laughs> here's the actual mount that I guess I'm going to go ahead and have to put on somewhere. Well, really should watch the video before putting all this together. This is pretty crappy, but pretty standard. Uh, this is just a really simple ball head. I'm hoping that I can go ahead and replace this little ball head with something else. Um, but, you know, even my ball head alone that I like to use runs about 50, 60 bucks. And that's the same one that I recommended, the CB, CB124 or 24 uh, option system that I use with my Andor. So that's, that's what's it in the main kit. And then I also got... Um, I also then got the... Uh, I think my brother also got this package here, so I'll show you these two other packages that um, you know I, I have access to that we can go ahead and check out as well. So this is the micro dolly. This looks like it's going to be pretty cool for uh, putting it on the desktop. Yeah, I know Andor creates one that's really small and light as well. Um, this will be. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. It's it's part of the movie maker set. I don't obviously it doesn't come with that first set, but also similar design and style. Uh, also made of plastic. What else can you expect? I'll have links down below of this product too. So we'll try out the micro dolly uh, later in an upcoming video, and then extra track. So this extra track is. Let's see. Extra single track. This gives you the option to build a rig that fits whatever size you want. So this is going to extend the track to make it really, really much, um, <laughs> much longer. And let's see. Also, that you, know, you could do use it as a. You could include the MM2 track, MM2 and tracks. Use an electronic or a manual slider. You'll transform the movie maker into dolly. Uh, with this um, other small accessory. So these two together will actually turn into actually motion control by itself. So, well, he actually didn't use this. We so didn't even actually open this. So um, this is great. So extra track, I'm thinking I'm going to be able, be able to extend the length of the whole total motion capture. And if you just, apparently, if you just get these two together, you already have a nice, really small system. So, so... Um, I think the Movie Maker 2 set actually just basically has these two already in there. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and play with this, uh, this first set. Now why am I even showing this? Well, out of all the, all the products that uh, you know, my brother went and scoured through here, he was the most impressed with this, with this, uh, with this product for the price. And you know, based on the demonstration, 
Yeah, that, that says a lot. And he actually tried and, and recorded some things with here. He found it really easy to use and, and was quite impressed. So uh, he's trying to start out a new channel. Um, I have a lot of other expensive gear and I generally don't recommend people go and buy a lot of expensive gear because, well, it's really expensive. So this is an example of something that I actually use in my kit. This is by Ben Rowe. And it is, let's see, it is the Move On, Move On 10. Yeah, so it's the Move On 10. This is the electronic controller uh, that I can, that it's an add-on option that you can, you can go ahead and stick on here uh, if you want extra motion control. Or if you don't, um, you can just unscrew that, take it off, it becomes a little bit lighter. And then this one has, actually has the, the flywheel on here. So if I want to control it by hand, I can as well. Um, so that it's, it's kind of like a modular system or, or kit. And this is a pretty long slide. I think the 10, the 10 uh, looks, I want to say it's about a meter long uh, of a slide. I don't really use this a whole lot outdoors. I've used it on a couple of videos um, so far um, on my Samsung notebook uh, option where I shot in the park. Um, but I also use this, obviously, as you can see, I have a GX85 right now, and I am, was just shooting this for some other small products. Uh, I think it was the battery pack uh, that I did earlier, and you'll see uh, reviews and footage uh, from that. No, nothing, nothing major, no, nothing really big. I haven't really used this on, on a major tripod. But, you know, for, for most of the things I shoot, this guy is less, weighs less than 1.7 pounds, so technically it should work just fine on the uh on on that nice little kit the uh the grip gear kit the micro with with the micro dolly right and um potentially uh the micro dolly and the uh extra track so so that that's why i'm i'm showing this video because uh this is something that you could consider trying and they seem to have pretty good reviews over on amazon and um, I just want to let you know that this is something that I'll be trying over for the next month or so. So if you have any questions for me, this is not a sponsored video. Just want to give a shout out to my brother and his channel uh, because he is trying to build up a bit of a channel, uploading a li little bit here and there. And, um, you know, he's letting me go ahead and try this kit out for uh, the next month or two while he's out there traveling. So if you have anything you would like me to try this out with specifically, let me down down in the comments below if you're even interested um, in trying it out at 129.90. I do believe that is a sale going on right now. I don't know when that will last. Uh, it looks like they even have another uh, additional promotion here. Um, you can get another 30% off on the micro dolly when you purchase something else from Grip Gear. So you can add both of them to cart, get another 30% off. So it seems like a pretty nice discount to me. Um, all right. So that's it for this video. Just want to talk a little bit about um, a new new tool and gadget that I will be using over the next month. And please like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.